I look dumb. Hello, beautiful glam fam, glam everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a an ASOS try on haul. I haven't done one in a long time. I put in a huge order of a bunch of stuff, and <laughs> I'm gonna return some of it. <laughs> no, it is it's a it's a big order, but um. I just, I think I got like a few different things of different sizes and I just, I needed some staples for my winter wardrobe. And so, and I also wanted some new loungewear and I just haven't shopped for myself like in a while, like on ASO, so, or in general, like I haven't really been buying clothes. So I went a little crazy. Merry Christmas to myself. And I thought while I'm unboxing, I should do a try and haul for you guys. Um, so I don't have to try it on twice because normally when I get stuff, I'll like try it on, try it on real quick, and then I'm like, ugh, I should have done a haul. So we're gonna do it at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Wait, why is that a saying? Like, why are people killing birds with stones? That's fucked up. <laughs> the big box of stuff. Let's begin. So first thing I pulled out of the box is this blazer. And this is by the brand St. Genie's. And yeah, I never heard of them before, but St. Genie's. It looks really cute. It's like a, obviously like a beige kind of color. And I really like that it has this like really chic lapel that goes all the way down. And then the sleeves have a little button detail here and it's like a half sleeve. Which I really like because a lot of times with my blazers, I will do this, like give it like that 80s vibe. <laughs> so with this, you don't have to do that. So let's put it on, let's see how it looks. Okay guys, so I put it on. I feel like it's a size too small. Let me show you guys how it looks. I put on this little sleeveless turtleneck. Is it dirty or is it the light? Put on this little sleeveless turtleneck so you guys can see. This is one of my favorite pieces um, for layering in the fall and winter. I just feel like it looks a little too small because of my hips. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like when it's open, like it should le it should be at least here, not like all the way out here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I'm not loving it. You can unbutton this, but it doesn't actually fold down. Right, like doesn't it look small? It's weird, it does and it doesn't. Like, it should be like, because yeah. if you're walking and moving, it's gonna be like this. Yeah, you're right. You're and right. it, it yeah, should be it tighter here. Yeah, I'm gonna be returning this. Um, this is from, like I said, St. Genie's. I got it in a size 20, um, US 20, and UK 24. All right, next I got some of my favorite joggers from ASOS. These are my favorite joggers ever, like, of all time. I've been wearing these literally for, I wanna say six or seven years. Like that's how long I've been buying these from ASOS. Nobody else has these. Um, they're my favorite pants ever. These are the ASOS Design Curve Ultimate Jersey Peg pants or peg joggers they're 95 percent viscose and five percent elastin so i got two different sizes i got a us 16 and i think i also got a us 18 because they fit very oversized and they're extremely stretchy so got another blazer this is the asos design curve dad suit blazer with contrast lapel in check print so i also got this in a us 20 I thought this looked really cool and uh, I don't know, chic, very Parisian, very Euro vibe. Interesting. So with um with ASOS Curve with their with their branded line, their pieces actually fit very true to size, if not a little bit large. So you see how much bigger this 20 is in comparison to that other brand, just so you guys can see um the difference so but look how big this is why with my blazers i always do this or i like fold them up because the sleeves are always so long and baggy on me and i feel like that makes you look like so much bigger um let's see i don't know how i feel about this 
Definitely giving me dad vibes for sure. <laughs> Babe, look. I feel like a Harlem, old school Harlem pimp, right? Like I'm giving those vibes. I think it's because it's too big. Yeah, yeah. It's too big. Yeah, it's because it's too big. That sucks because I thought it was so cute. You know what? The more I look at it, the less I like the, the white lapel. I feel like if the lapel was just all one color, I would like it better. The white just gives me like pimp vibes. <laughs> all right, next we have a coat. This is Fashion Union Plus Double Breasted Pea Coat. I also got this in a UK 26, which is a US 22. Um, again, because of my hips, if I want stuff to close, I have to get it oversized. So that's always my issue. Let's see. Or oh, I like this. See, this is how something should fit. Like even if it doesn't close all the way, you should still have, the, the pieces should be able to touch so that it looks like it fits you and still has a relaxed feel. You still get some waist definition and you know, when you're walking and moving around, it's not gonna be like this. Like that's not chic. You want it to be like that, you know? And then the arms are decent. I have short arms, so everything's always long. I'm missing the maybe pile. Okay, we have another coat. This is the ASOS Design Curve Belted Luxe Maxi Coat in Camel. And I also got this in a 20. Oh yeah, this is, this is really chic. This makes me want to go to Paris. This makes me want to go to London. I'm gonna cry. I miss it. Oh, I love the pockets. Oh, yes. This is so cute. The arms, again, are big on me, but like, there's nothing I can do about that unless I just like, I don't know. Maybe I can do my own little stitch right here just to tighten it up a bit or take it somewhere to do it. But I love this material. It's like a wool vibe, but more comfortable and a little bit more stretchy. I really like it. Babe, look, I think this is a winner. And it's nice and long. It's really chic, but warm. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice, right? That's really nice. Ooh, super chic vibes. Yeah. We finally have a winner. God. But you know what, this is my favorite anyway. So, I'm happy about that. With a coat like this too, you could literally be wearing pajamas underneath and you look chic. That's why I love stuff like this. They're so basic in a good way. Like you can wear this for years to come and once it hits like 40 degrees and under, you can just literally throw on leggings and a t-shirt with sneakers and then you put this on top and it literally looks like you're, you know, so put together. And then for added credit, add a beret with some red lipstick and some cat eye sunglasses, you're gonna look so good. So I'm gonna keep that. The ASOS Design Curve Nipped Waist Strong Shouldered Dad Suit Blazer in Camel. So another one, but this one I got a size 22 because I wanted to see what the sizes would be like and get some different options. So maybe this one might fit better. I don't know, it looks kind of big. Ugh. Gotta go to my tailor, you know what I mean? I think what it is is the fit, like the dad suit fit might not be best for my, my body type, my shape. Like something about it just reads very like pimp daddy on me. <laughs> Do people say pimp daddy anymore? And then you see all this bulkiness in the back because of my butt. Like I just have too much hourglass situation going on. Also the shoulder pads are like mad far down. Like my shoulders are up here. Wait, I look like a pimp, right? Macaroni. Macaroni. 
Okay. We have the ASOS Design Curved Scuba Waterfall Skater. I don't know what this is. Skater. I think it's like a coat. I told you guys I was going ham with the basics for the season. And this one is a really nice, like, stretchy, super stretchy, cozy material. But it has the belt on it, which I really like. Cause... Babe, look, tell me what you think. Are you tired of me? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. You like this? Yeah, that's why. This yeah. literally feels like you're wearing a robe. Like, you could actually wear this as a robe. Rude. No joke. It feels like a robe. This is giving me, doesn't it give like Yeezy vibes? Yeah. It does, it really does. But it's so stretchy, I probably could have even sized down because of the material. But I really like it. I feel like an undercover superhero. Like very chic. Again, something that you can wear like sneakers and leggings with and you look put together. So this is another winner. Just disappointed about the blazers, okay? But um, again, I need the belt. It's hard, guys. People think, oh, I wish I had hourglass shape. Oh, I wish I had big hips. No, you don't. You don't want this smoke. This is the struggle of looking um, crazy, okay? This is the struggle of people staring at you. This is the struggle of looking like a rectangle if you don't accentuate your waist in everything you wear. This is a linen blazer, and this is the Birch Melange. No, this is the Vero Moda Curve Linen Double Breasted Blazer, and this is a US 18. So yeah, like I said, I got different sizes of stuff because I wanted to see how the different pieces would fit in the different sizes because sometimes smaller things look better actually. Um, Cause plus size girls tend to buy things oversized and then it actually makes you look bigger. But if you get something a little bit more snug to your body in a good way, it actually streamlines everything, makes you look your actual size instead of bigger. Ooh, this is so cute. This is what I was looking for, but I wanted it like a darker color. But I love the fit of this. You see how it's smaller and it just looks better on my shape. Like it's enough overhang to cover my hips a little bit, but it's fitted. Like look at that, it's nice and fitted. The shoulder pads are at my shoulders. Ooh, I like this. You can wear it in the spring and summer. You can wear it like all seasons because you can layer this with a coat on top. Better, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is what I was saying. Yeah. Like, sometimes if it's too big, it actually like makes it you look... makes you look bigger. Yeah. Wow. So, that's why I got a 20, 22, and an 18 because that's really the only way you're going to know. And for me, like I'm smaller on top. My The bottom is my big area, like bigger. I know I'm not skinny on top, but I'm just saying in comparison, it's bigger. So <laughs> that's why I struggle. <laughs> All right, and then the last couple pieces are bottoms. We have... This is the other pair of joggers that I'm gonna keep. I got uh, the other size was um, 18, I think. So I got a 16 and 18. And then I got some sweatpants. These are actually from Misguided, but I got them on ASOS. And these are the oversized joggers in a size 20. So we'll see if those fit. And then I also got a black pair of joggers. All right, my camera cut off, so I don't know where I was when I was talking, but I just I was saying that um, I got some joggers in some different sizes. So these are from ASOS Curve, and this is a size US 24. This looks a little bit too big, but I, I want it like a loose fit. So let's try these on. It definitely feels like it's one size too big, especially at the bottom, like my ankles but I don't mind it. I really like how comfortable 
and slightly oversized they are so yeah you guys can see like here they're slightly oversized but back here <laughs> of course they fit fine and then at the bottom it's supposed to like hug your ankles and it's a little loose at the ankle for me but i think they look really good and they're so comfortable they're like the perfect material oh i'm gonna be wearing these every day if i could just wear these every day in, in different colors i would never wear anything else promise you promise you because i'm fat and lazy and these are a size 20. oh actually these look pretty big look at that and i like the color i think i actually like these the pockets are hella deep like almost at my knee like what the fuck <laughs> My only issue with the pockets is like there's so much they're so deep and the material is so thick that it's making my thigh look so bulky but um what do you think babe cute yeah right yeah i'm shocked i'm shocked honey let me show you guys i'm actually shocked this is a size 20, and I think they look pretty good. Oh my God, come through. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna keep those, and then the last two pieces to try on are these two skirts. I've been wanting like a faux leather, uh. a faux leather skirt. Um, I had one back in 2018 that was also from asos but um the fit just wasn't great and then i i ended up selling it i think on poshmark or something so time for a new one because it's such a good basic to have and i also got the mini skirt so i wanted to see the difference and how it fit the issue for the issue that i have with skirts and pants in general like i said is the waist to hip ratio so like for my hips i need it to be really big but then for my waist i need it to be like that so normally that's the issue that i have but let's find out i wonder if this is it's kind of similar to the one i had remember when i wore it in paris babe oh wow it does do i look sexy yeah. it looks good that looks really good it's really comfortable too like it's super stretchy it's super stretchy I think it looks really good. Okay, I'm feeling myself. And I really like how in the back, there's not a huge gap. Like there's still a gap because that's just how my body is, but normally this gap would be way bigger. And I feel like it looks decent, which is great. Cause with a skirt like this, you know, sometimes you wanna wear something cropped. And if the back is like, gaping like huge gap in the back it doesn't look cute but i think this is making my stomach look a little smaller too and i'm here for it okay Whew, this is so cute i think i might just skip opening this one because i like this one i want to keep it so i don't see the point in confusing myself because if i wanted to i could just hike this one up and just kind of play with it until it looks more like a mini skirt, right? Like, can I get away with that? Okay, so this is how the mini lurks. <laughs> looks. It's literally the same skirt, just mini. Um, I just think it's too mini for my booty. Like, I think it looks good, but it's too mini. Like, I wouldn't actually wear this outside because I would be self-conscious. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just gonna keep going up over and over again, like you said. Okay, is this outfit not a vibe? Oh, this is how I wanna dress, guys. Babe, look. With black tights. Like, this is giving me winter in Paris. Cause you know, I just imagine I'm always in Paris. Just, just constantly assume that in my mind I'm in Paris. <laughs> Like with black tights and booties. Oh, this is so cute. 
babe. Oh. I don't know, the more I wear this skirt, the more I like it. Body, yaddy, 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 ay, ay, ay. All right, guys, that's it. I will leave the links for everything down below. Hopefully, one of you will have better luck with some of the blazers. Look, babe, isn't that cute together? That's cute. Okay, guys, I'll leave links for everything down below. I love you so much. Stay glam, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye!